Hey there, today I make the dough for a gluten-free tart crust, which can also be used for the cookie bottom layer for one of my fancy cakes or any kind of fancy cakes. And this tart crust will fool anyone to think it's the real deal. The tart crust is a shortbread recipe. It is a bit different than the regular shortbread because it needs to be a little bit stronger, a bit stiffer, so it can hold the creamy filling which comes inside for a lemon tart or a fruit tart or peanut butter chocolate tart. Because the last thing you want to is to end up with a broken tart crust. So it needs to be strong enough to hold the filling and at the same time adds a little bit of crunch to the softness of the filling. To get started on the tart crust, I'm going to weigh my flours first. I'm going to weigh 60 gram of millet flour, 60 gram of white rice flour, 50 gram of brown rice flour, 20 grams of oat flour and 40 gram of potato flour. And the key for making a gluten-free tart crust is really the potato flour. That gives it that nice crisp, which you can't get really with any other kind of gluten-free flour. Other essential ingredients are 70 grams of sugar, 80 gram of butter sliced and one egg. I'm gonna mix the ingredients in the bowl first and with my fingers I'm gonna smash the butter into small little crumbles. The egg, the butter and the flour are starting to combine forming a dough. It's gonna become very crumbly and very hard. To continue mixing the dough in the bowl. I'm gonna put the crumbles onto my working space and start to knead the dough until it becomes one smooth ball. I'm gonna let the dough rest for about 30 minutes to an hour in the fridge. It's really about getting the butter to harden up again. I'm planning to roll out the dough between parchment paper. So on my prepared parchment paper I'm going to put some millet flour, place my dough on the top of the parchment paper, roll out the dough between bow sheets. I'm going to try to roll out the dough to be about half a centimeter or quarter inch thick. I'm going to roll the dough with the parchment paper now onto my rolling pin. I'm going to take now my tart form and try to elegantly unroll the dough onto the top of my tart pan. I didn't do too poorly. I'm going to press the dough now into the tart form and since I'm missing a little bit of dough, I'm going to take some of the leftover dough and put it towards the edges of the pan until the whole entire tart is complete. I just need to make sure that the tart crust is not thicker than a quarter inch or half a centimeter. Otherwise, it's just not quite such an elegant crust. If that happens, just press with your fingers more on the rim until the crust is thin enough. I'm going to poke now gently the tart crust with a fork and that will help the air to escape when I pre-bake my tart crust. I'm going to bake my tart crust at 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 170 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. The tart crust should have a nice golden brown color when the crust is done. With the remaining tart crust, I'm going to roll out a very thin layer, again a quarter inch to half a centimeter thick, and then with my cake ring, I'm going to cut out a big cookie. This cookie should be about 8 inches to 9 inches thick or 21 to 23 centimeters. I'm going to remove now the excess tart dough, and, and with the excess I can make either cookies or freeze it for later. I'm going to place now the cookie bottom layer on a baking sheet and bake it for about 10 minutes. Here's the finished cookie bottom layer and this bad boy is ready to be popped onto my black forest cake. And if you feel inspired, please subscribe to my channel and check the bell for any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, thoughts, cake recipes, ideas, please pop them below in the comments box. And I'll see you next week. Bye!